look at what we got here. It's Yu-Gi-Oh! The trading card game, for those who don't know. The Legendary Collection, 25, 25th anniversary. So 25 years ago. That was 1998. That was a long time ago. I don't think I even was watching Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu -Gi -Oh! at that point. So I guess hopefully these are like the OG cards that I actually know. So look, you got Egyptian God cards I know. Blue Eyes, Stark Magician, Red Eyes. I know these cards. I haven't been able to know Yu-Gi-Oh! in many years. Age of six and up, that's a check. Okay, that's appropriate for me. Let's get into this. So... I'm not going to be friendly with this box or anything. Let's just bust it open. There we go. Oh... And I think, oh, so these are probably like all the Egyptian God cards. You probably just get these in every set. Oh, we got an obelisk. Beautiful. Divine beast. Slifer, of course. Winged dragon of raw. Blue eyes. Dark magician. Red eyes. And, oh, man, that is a freaking shiny card. A... A hollow blue eyes. Is it the same exact card as the other one? Yes, yeah, the same exact card as the other one, but it's hollow. Very pretty. So I think these just come in every set, so um, that's cool and all, but this is where it's going to get interesting. We got some packs here. I don't know. Spell Ruler, Blue Eyes, Metal Raider. I guess one of each pack. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. I can't wait to see some fan favorites. I hope I get a baby dragon. Remove trap. I remember this card. Good for removing traps. Ray and temperature. I don't remember this card at all. Not at all. N Nemurico. Also don't remember that. Hard armor. I do remember. I don't remember what where I know it from. Obviously it's on my iconic card, but for some reason. Aquamador. I remember. That's legit. This one I remember because it's a really powerful four star. And of course, per Battle City rule, starting then you need to sacrifice and four stars. Like bringing out this with four stars like right away, that's that's pretty good. Tripwire Beast. I don't remember that one. Spike Seedra, of course I remember, yes. I weirdly less powerful than the uh the Aquamador. Um and yet more stars. Go figure. The Man-Eater. Oh, shit. And a Wasteland. Interesting. Well, that pack kind of sucked. I didn't see anything cool in that pack. Some of these I remember from uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. The PS... Know, PS1 or PS2? I don't remember which one it was. I played it on PS2, though. <gasps> Soggy the Dark Clown. Classic Kaiba card. Mushroom Man number two. Classic somebody. Crass Clown. Okay, I remember that. From, of course, the episode where Joey uh, dueled the zombie kid. Of course. Launcher Spider. Classic Bandit Keith. Classic. Great Moth. Classic Weevil Underwood card. Yes. Insect Effect. Cannot be normal summoner set. Card can only be special summoned by tributing Petite Moth on the fourth of your turns after Petite Moth has been equipped by the Cocoon of Evolution. Which, when would that ever happen? <gasps> I got it. I pulled it. I actually fucking pulled the baby dragon. <laughs> we all know what that does. That's Joey's dragon. Becomes Thousand Dragon um, with the Time Wizard combo. Uh, yeah, classic dragon of the baby variety bistro butcher i remember this card this is another uh, powerful level four four star card those ones stick out to me because they were um they were so important that was when i was playing a game boy advance Yu Gi Oh game i can't remember which one that was cybersaurus i i remember this card i don't remember where i exactly know it from and the seven colored fish another powerful four star Ooh, okay, so that was a good pack. That was a good pack, you guys. That was so that was the baby dragon was the the highlight of that pack. The highlight of this pack, this first pack we got, was probably 
oddly enough, hard armor. <laughs> Something about hard armor, you guys. All right. Let's see what else we get. See what else we're getting here. Cyber Falcon. Don't remember this card. Giroshin Kuagata. Don't remember that at all. Time Seal. Skip the draw phase of your opponent's next turn. That's interesting. Don't remember. World Suppression. Activate it when a field spell card is activated. Negate the field spell card. Don't remember. Mad Sword Beast. I don't remember. What, what, what is with this pack? What pack is this? Pharaoh's Servant. Maybe this is from like a... When I stopped like following? I don't remember. Flame Champion. That sounds familiar, but I don't know. Numinous Healer. Don't, nope, nope. Wing Weaver. That's cool. That's a powerful fairy. And the Oni Tank. The Demon Tank. I don't remember. I don't know anything in this pack, to be honest. <laughs> that one, I don't know about that one. But I mean, we still got Baby Dragon. We won. We won already. Kind of bummed that I... You, you get the iconic cards automatically because it takes away whoops from the thrill of potentially pulling them morale boost that's an interesting uh helmet this guy has on i don't remember that falling down i don't remember maju garzette i do not remember what the even attack wait well look at this attack question mark defense zero the attack of this card becomes equal to the combined original attack of the two monsters you tributed for the tribute summon. That's really interesting. Shadow Knight, Archfiend. Oh my god, another tough four star. Once per turn during your standby, you must pay 900 life points. This is not optional, or this card is destroyed. When resolving an opponent's card effect that targets this card, roll a six-sided die and negate the effect if you roll a three. Okay, and if you do, destroy that card. This is a really weird card. Guardian Bow. I don't know that one either. I don't know, but who who is this? Ninkendog? Ninkendog. That's, that's, oh man. That's awesome. <laughs> Dark Scorpion. Looks like a harpy lady. But it's not somebody else. Keldo. It's just a machine, a machine called Keldo, but it's a fairy. And Little Wingard. Looks like the Dark Mage from Final Fantasy. Well, clearly Ninkendog is the OG. He's the, the MVP of this uh this pack. That's fucking awesome. Alright, two more to go here. I can't get over that. It's a ninja. That's a dog. But the rest of them's a ninja. Fire Kraken. Horn of Light, I remember. That's an equip card, yeah. 800 points, that's really good. Whiptail Crow. Labyrinth, ooh, Labyrinth Wall, the classic from the Brothers Paradox fight. It's funny that if that they hadn't pulled that so early, that whole fight would have been very different and just would have lost all meaning, kind of. But they did, of course. Mother Grizzly, no idea, but what a sinister looking face. The sinister face of a mother. When this card's destroyed by battle and sent to the GY, you can special summon one water monster with 1500 attack or less. Why? I don't know. Metal Fish, I actually remember this card too, it's fucking weird, it's like a mechanical piranha. The Toll, you gotta pay the life point toll to declare an attack on this hole. <laughs> Kotodama. That's kind of horrifying, but cool also. And Gaia Power. Increase the attack of all Earth monsters by 500 points. Decrease their defense. Interesting. Well, Labyrinth Wall is going to take this one. i put that right there. And then here's our last pack here. Let's see what we got. Of course, this is the Invasion of Chaos. So I'm expecting some chaotic cards here. Giga ga 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 Um, no idea what this is. It's a normal reptile. Spatial Collapse. I don't know what that is. Hyper Hammerhead. 
It's terrifying and kind of disgusting. You don't know what that is. I have a feeling I'm not going to know anything in this pack. Don Turtle. I'm interested in the name. Don Turtle. I don't know it, though. Destruction Ring. I, th I think I remember that from the anime. I think Kaiba used that. Destroy one face-up monster on your side of the field to inflict a thousand points of damage. Oh my god, what the hell is going on? This kangaroo. <laughs> it's a kangaroo, a boxing kangaroo that's green. Look at these freaking, it, it has these like after images. Oh my god. Who used this card? I want to know whose deck that was in. Be gone, knave. That's awesome. If a monster inflicts battle damage to a player, return that monster, return that knave to the hand. Gale Lizard. This is another reptile. A lot of reptiles in this deck, huh? And Terror King Salmon. Wow. Well, it's a tough one between Begone Knave and Disc Kangaroo, but I'm going to have to give it to the Kangaroo on this one. So, so yeah, this was uh, this was very interesting. I I'm glad I got a couple iconic cards here. Um, and the ones I drew, I mean. Um, we got... Uh, we got a baby dragon, we got a labyrinth wall, and some other cool ones that I'll, I'll never play these, but um, but it's cool to see some familiar faces. And then, of course, automatically got these really cool iconic ones. So, all right, Yu-Gi-Oh! All right, I still know you a little bit. It's been nice. Nice to see you again, and maybe we'll see you again sometime.